Hey guys, Aeronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I'm going to be hopping into Tag Team Arena. I'm still working on this pesky mission to reach Gold 1 in Tag Team Arena. And of course, because we got CVC with personal rewards next week, it seems like everybody's just going ape. I'm not going to say the next word, but literally going crazy in Tag Team Arena right now. And I just can't seem to stay in the green. It's actually way worse as compared to the previous CVC where I was literally at like 1500 in the green, fell asleep two hours before reset and I got knocked out. But if I didn't fall asleep, then I probably would have been good. But again, right now people are hitting me like crazy and I have a pretty decent defense in, in my opinion. I mean, it's not terrible. I've got one speed team. Maybe I need to put in two speed teams. But then again, speed teams are really easy to counter, you know? They're just so easy to counter, typically. Especially if you have like a Valkyrie or a Hegemon, they're pretty simple to counter. So, or even a Tormund. I just don't have the luxury of having a Valkyrie, Hegemon, or a Tormund. I have a lot of other champions that can be helpful, but a lot of them are epics. I don't have any like super meta champions. Of course I have Ronda. Of course, I have a lot of the fusion champions. I have Lydia, I have Mithrala, and of course I have some good cleanse champions here as you can see in this group here. But most of my champions are just fusions and fragment summons. I don't have Rhodos, I don't have Mortu Macab, I don't have Krisk, I don't have Hegemon, I don't have Baron, I don't have pretty much any Void Legendary besides my Arbiter, the, f the fusion, uh, Voids, Supreme Elhane, but I also need to re-gear and I have literally no silver yet again. Now, of course, the silver went to a good cause because I wanted to upgrade my champions. I did upgrade Supreme Elhain. I maxed out pretty much all of her gear here that she's wearing. She's at about 54, almost 5,500 attack. Very slow, though, in the one turn stone skin. The reason why she's at 79% crit rate is because I had Vlad in the lead. And maybe I'll try them out a little bit, but Vlad's attack is a little bit too low. 4,000 attack. He's also in a one turn stone skin as well. And his damage could get a little bit better with this being maxed and this being maxed as well with more attack. But of course, for him, he's 179 speed because I want him to go before her. A little bit of accuracy to land some debuffs because he does have the decreased defense, block active skills, and perfect veil for two turns when he uses his ability. And I use him in the lead for the aura for the 24% crit rate so that way both of them are at 100%. My issue is I can't use them. I could use them against speed teams, but if they're too fast and they lap us after we take a turn, our stone skin's gone. So having two turn stone skin is a lot better than having one turn stone skin if you're trying to go up against those speed teams and you want to try to take them out. But of course, I don't have good enough stone skin gear to put them in two turn stone skin at this time. So I'm going to have to keep focusing on Hydra, upgrade my Hydra champions, and then focus more on placing two turn stone skin. However, I really truly think that maybe just putting these champions in like lethal or savage with really high speeds, because that's all people are doing these days is they're actually, they're not putting them in slow speeds anymore. They're putting them in high speeds, but it used to be slow speed meta, but now the meta has switched because of live arena. So now everybody's putting their damage dealers in high speeds and savage and lethal. So I feel like I need to do that now. Of course, I don't have their masteries done. I haven't even started on Vlad's. I did start on Supreme El Haines, but uh, I'd want to get probably Helm Smasher for her and then Helm Smasher for Vlad as well so he can do more damage too. And then, you know, I definitely need speed on the team with them or like a Duchess, something like that, that would help keep them alive longer. So I do sometimes use Elva with them She's not bad, but I also have to complete her masteries too. But uh, but like I said, it's been a little bit challenging. It's been challenging because my champions aren't surviving. They're not fast enough. I need better gear. That's a big thing too. Or I need better champions. Or kind of a mixture of both. So let's go into tag team here. Let's see if we can get some wins. I'm going to have to pick and choose between different teams here to see what we could do. So let's go against the first team. Let me see if there's any 13 points per victory. 
Unfortunately, there's not. There's an 11 point per victory, which is kind of interesting because usually there's a 13 point victory team, but there isn't. And you lose less points per loss against the teams that have higher points per victory. And that's why I like to go for them. So for the first team, again, I don't know if I'm faster than these teams too. So that's the other issue is me not being as fast as the Arbiters that are up here too. I only have a 348 or 349 speed Arbiter right now until I re-gear her. I can get her to about a max of 353, but that's still very, very slow in gold, trying to get into gold tag team. So you kind of have to have like 360 plus or else you're just not doing that great. Or you have to have really other good meta champions. Let me make myself a little bit smaller here so you guys can actually see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these champions out. And for the first team, they're going to lock us out. So I just don't think I'm going to be fast enough. I really, truly don't think so. I don't have faith in my Arbiter currently. So I try to go for the teams that I know for a fact I can speed race and beat them. So in this case, this team right here, the second team, I could go like this, place Elva. Because I'm definitely going to beat them with the speed race. Then I can also place, I could try to do a lockout, but I don't think I have enough accuracy yet with my Elegaeus because he's, but he's also blue. So he could weak hit against Uko and he could weak hit against Pythion. So I don't want to do that. Maybe I could do a lockout with, what's her name? Alika. She could definitely be helpful. The only thing is I don't have her built for that high of damage. I have her built mainly for accuracy. She has a little damage, but not enough damage to really help us a lot. So I could try to lock everybody out if I wanted to. I just don't think she's going to do enough damage. And then, so I don't know if I want to do that because they have Tormin. So maybe what I'll do instead is I'll go with Madam Ceres and I'll go with Foley. And then for the top team, uh, I'm going to need to take a hit. So with the top team, I could go with Duchess with a bolster set. And then I could go Martyr. I mean, she's really not built for much damage at all. She's just built in a stone skin. I think two turn stone skin. And I could go with this girl right here, Skull Crown. And then maybe we can get some counterattacks in. And then I need to do a cleanse as well. So I could use her for the cleanse. She's probably going to resist. My Mithral is most likely going to resist this champion here in um, Warlord. It's going to be the lockout guy. So we're going to try this team out. If I can get counterattacks up and our Skull Crown manages to survive, maybe we could take extra turns and survive and be fine. But if they're too fast, that's going to be the issue. Maybe I could put in my faster Duchess. I'm going to go with my faster Duchess instead. And then for the last team, uh, Polymorph here, Baron, Speed. I'm going to go with Speed and think that maybe my team's faster. I don't know. Sometimes Gorgorabs run really quick up here. My Lydia, she's not really that fast. 313 Speed, she's kind of slow. And honestly, some Gorgorabs up here are just ridiculously fast for whatever reason. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Rhonda, Elagias. So maybe we can strip some of those buffs or put skills on cooldown if we're faster. And then I'm also going to try a bomb team or I could potentially. But the thing with Romantu is that he's going to strip. So how fast is my Samson? 232 so he's not faster than my Elagias, so he can't increase his accuracy that's a bit of an issue um Ramantu's gonna strip stone skin as well mm, no how fast is my yoshi my yoshi's 250 okay maybe i can take him out like this and my i do need to put ronda in a better kit as well she's in double crit damage but no Savage, no Lethal, so that's a bit of a problem. I think I have her Masteries fully complete, though, and she's in Helm Smasher. Let me just double check that really quickly. Yeah, she's in Helm Smasher, so that's helpful. And then... Or I could potentially do... 
something different. I just don't think that he's going to have his Ramantu in a stone skin or immunity, but I could be wrong. Sometimes I see them in stone skin or immunity, so I can't lock them out, which is what sucks as well. And Baron's a big issue too. So maybe instead of Elagius, I stick with Yoshi and I go with Andresia. She has a two turn stun and Andresia is in a bolster set for me. So Andresia is pretty good. Let's see what we could do here. I'm hope, hoping that I can win, but let's see. We're definitely going to be way slower here. We got locked out. Mithrala did not get locked, which is what I figured. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, she was in immunity. Okay, he didn't get petrified, which is a surprise. We got feared. Great. Decreased defense. Yeah, that's not good. Go ahead and do this. Decreased our turn meter. All right, we got to take a turn here. Um, can we do damage over here? Counterattack. That's great. Still can't do. All right, now he gets the unkillable. That's annoying. All right, so Mithral is going to die here in a second. But are we going to get back around to our ability? No, we're not. We're going to get locked out again. So they're so fast that they're just going to keep on locking me out. Yeah, so unfortunately, my Duchess does not have enough resistance. I think I have like 500 resistance on that Duchess. So we were able to take a turn here, hoping I can just take out Tormund. All right, Tormund's down, which is good. And now it's just Nishak, really. Go ahead and do that. Kill Nishak. Do this. All right, he got feared, but he's going to revive. Nope, he did not. Oh, because he might have already used that ability, I'm assuming. Or he just placed it so that that ability came first, the A2. See what we could do here. All right, he's dead. Decrease defense. And can we get this kill? That's the question. I think we're good. There we are. All right, so we got the second team down. Can we go faster? Yes, we can. All right, so they didn't put Ramantu in a stone skin. Usually they don't, but sometimes they do. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I think we're going to lock Ramantu. Or I could just try to kill them. But the thing is, if I don't kill them, it's not good. Because Ramantu will then take a turn, strip everything. I think we could kill Baron. I just don't know about Ramantu. Okay, we lucked out. We did get Ramantu. Let's go ahead and now stun. Oh, yes, that's right. They've got stupid uh, Ultimate Death Knight. Wasn't really thinking there. That's fun. Uh, Let's go with HP Burn. All right, so it landed over there. That's that's cool. <laughs> Got to remove buffs or decrease the duration, that is. Yeah, we got wrecked. Okay. So in that case, that sucks. All right. Baron freaking clapped. So yeah, I don't have... I don't have Baron, you know. That's an issue. But I also could have done a different ability rather than... Maybe I should have done the... Decrease duration ability first. But either way, the stun would have landed on Ultimate Death Knight no matter what. And we weren't able to kill Gorgorab with that hit, that double hit, which really sucks. Um, so what I could end up doing is just go with my Nishak instead. And then hopefully get better RNG up here. Maybe I could. Hmm. We're going to get locked regardless. That's the issue. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a big issue is getting locked out every time. I wonder if we would be faster than them. Would we be faster? I doubt it, but we'll try. I don't think we're going to be faster, but we'll try. And then for this team here, Tormin, we do need the cleanse, of course, but we don't really need the cleanse because he's just going to take his uh, uh, take his turn. Yeah, that should work. Maybe I could put Uko here instead. All right, let's see if we can beat him this time around. Maybe the last team I keep the way it was. See if I can beat him this time around. Oh, wow, we actually are faster. That's a surprise to me. Okay, they don't do increased attack, but they still lock us out. And gets a counterattack. 
What the hell? The debuffs, I mean. That's a problem. Yeah, that's irritating. Just take him out again. Counterattack. Come on. Take him out again. All right, let's just take him out. There we go, finally. All right, last one. Here we go. Can we get the win this time because of the bombs? I feel like the bombs will help us. Let's go ahead and decrease the durations. All right, so we weren't able to decrease Death Knight. But the bombs will take them all out. So there we go. Uh, that just goes to show that Mighty or Nishak is just ridiculously powerful. He's going to die anyways. Doesn't really matter at this point. We're good to go. So now we place the stun. Place some more bombs. And there's the sheep. We didn't get sheep the first time around. Thank God. Because that would have been super annoying too. Alright, so we did get the win. We got 13. So we lost 7 the first fight. We got 13 that fight right there. So anytime you face a team that's like 11 or more points per win, you usually lose less points. But if you go against these ones that are 10, 10, 10, you tend to lose 10 points per loss. So that's the biggest issue. Counterattacking teams like this, it's okay. I can definitely get the win on the last team. And the second team, maybe. I don't know about the first team because... My issue here, actually, the second team might be tough too because both of them have Madam Ceres. And I don't know which one I'm going to be faster than. This one seems faster than this one, but I don't know for sure. Sometimes people trick you and they'll put their. It'll look like the Blessing Arbiter will be faster, but in fact, the one with no Blessing ends up being faster. So I'm not 100% sure. Plus, you can't really tell with the team power because sometimes you can see lower team powers tend to be faster than higher team powers. So it really just depends. I usually, based on Lysandra, think that the second, the first team is going to be faster than the second team. So I'm going to assume that I can outrace them. Okay, so I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to put Uko here. Take out Yoshi. I guess I could put in Yoshi just in case they're faster than me. And then I could take out Madam Ceres and put in, where's she at? Well, I could put in Stone Skin too. Probably not the best thing to do actually. They're too slow. Maybe I go with Pythion instead to help cleanse if needed. But the thing is, Madam Ceres is definitely going to potentially strip Pythion. Pythion is in a two-turn stone skin. 50-50 shot to strip Pythion. And I tend to get stripped almost every single time. It's ridiculous. I don't know if you guys have that issue happen to you where you have stone skin and you're assuming that it's going to work for you 50-50% 50 of the time, right? But you end up 100% of the time getting stripped over and over and over by Madam Ceres or other champions like Romantu. Happens to me all the time. First team though, are we gonna survive? Who knows? Depends on if we can cleanse. Cause they're gonna go so fast. Could put in my bolster set, Duchess. A little bit slower though. Hopefully we can even take a turn at that point. Let's try it out. We're gonna try it. We might end up losing, but we'll see. All right, so they're definitely going fast. Let's see what happens. All right, boom, boom. Our Foley's down, which really stinks. Let's go ahead and try to petrify them. Okay, not petrified. Not petrified, of course, because they stole buffs. Go figure. Uh, I don't really want to revive right now. Because uh, we're feared. Yeah, there you go. Tried the revive, we're feared. And of course, feels like 100% of the time we get feared. Fantastic. Go ahead and play Strengthen. Okay. It's just A1. We got to take out this Arbiter first. We can get a turn in.
Oh my god, we got feared again? You're joking me. Okay. That's great. Okay, triple fear, but somehow their team never gets feared, or when they do get feared, the fears never proc. All right, so the second team is down. So we should be good. Boom, okay. Third team, can we win? Let's see. All right, that's huge, taking his speed. But she's going to cleanse, though, unless she gets stunned. Can we get a turn in? I don't think we're going to be able to stun. Yeah, she resisted. Can we place bombs? Oh, dang it. Dang it. He's going to cleanse. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Try to reduce. Uh, everybody still has block damage besides her. Resisted. Great. We don't have the increased accuracy. That's probably what we should have brought in. We definitely should have brought in increased accuracy. So we lose 10 points here. Okay. Which kind of sucks. So now we're going to go back in again. And we need increased accuracy. So we need... Increased accuracy is going to be for our Nishak. Of course, this guy right here is going to be way too fast to get the increased accuracy. But... Should be good there. This first team, though... Huh. We're just not fast enough, it seems. Maybe we can get, like... It'd be nice if we can get a counterattack in, at least. I could try... We'll try it out. I don't think it's going to work. But we'll try this out. We'll bring in our damage with our, um... Stone skin sets. And then... I think I'll bring in Gaius the Gleeful. Hopefully we can place bombs on them as well when they're attacking us. And then the last team, I think I'm just going to stick with this. I might not even need to put in Uko. Maybe I could go with someone else. Maybe I could just go with Foley. Yeah, I think that should be fine with Foley. Let's just do this. We might be able to get three wins possibly this way. To get our points back. I'm going to try out fully. See if he works a lot better than the last champion. We do have stone skin here. It's only one turn. And that was the issue that I had. Is the chance to get absolutely stripped by Madam Ceres. And then just not being strong enough to kill them with one champion. Okay. if Maybe if both of them survive with the stone skin on still. Maybe would have, would have gotten a chance to come back and win. But. You know. Beggars can't be choosers, clearly. So this time we ended up getting the decreased attack on us, which is a big issue. So we might end up losing. Let's see. Let's try to strip the increased attack. Uh, can we stun? There we go. We got the stun. Oh, man. We still haven't killed them. Are you serious? Even if I revive, I might end up dying here. Yep. Yikes. Yikes. So this time we end up losing because we didn't get the stuns. Uh, we got stripped again. So, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Let's try to stun here. All right, so we beat the last team, but it's like, she didn't die. She didn't die from both those bombs. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Cleansed. Finally, the sheep goes off. Okay, got revived again. Stun him.
Okay, come on. Take him out. Stun her. Nope. Alright, so unfortunately, just one of those things where like the RNG is on his side. I mean, it just sucks. I really hate RNG in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. So I just lost 20 points from that from trying to go for this 10 piece. It's it's literally ridiculous. 11s across the board. Marichka, of course. Of course they have Marichka. Of course they have OP meta champ. Uh, let's see this team, this team right here. 182k team power, but they got Taras. That's cool. They got they got Rodos. They've got Ruthier. They got more too. They got freaking what's her name? Ursaga. Like, come on. Necrit. Like, these are like those are meta champions. I don't have those champions. I don't have more too. I don't have Ursaga. I don't have Necrit. I don't have Rodos. I don't have Wither. I don't have Taras. I don't have Kimmy, Lady Kimmy. Like all these champions are meta. And that's a big, big game changer for most players that play this game. If you have meta champions, you focus on those champions, right? So that's what I need. I need meta champions that are going to come in or I need like ridiculous regearing, which is going to cost a ton of silver. And I would need to be focused solely on arena, which means I'm going to break apart my teams that I use for Hydra, that I use for other areas of the game that I don't want to do. And that's the only way at this t time that I think that I can get into gold one is by saving a ton of silver, like 60 million silver, and then re-gearing a bunch of champions specific for arena. It's time consuming. It's resource consuming. And it's going to be a pain because it's going to take my, my champs apart that I don't want to take apart but I'm going to have to potentially do it because I don't have all the OP meta champions. I have a lot of support based champions like Samson's okay, but he's more support. He's a little bit of damage, but he's more support. Honestly, with the accuracy increase crit damage with, if he gets a kill, great. But then again, I would need to take off all the gear from a lethal champion, uh, champion with lethal, I mean, and put it on him. So it's like, you're literally taking apart all your champions constantly. So unless you pay to win in order to do that, free to play players like myself, like a lot of you out there, just don't have that luxury of being able to go back and forth and back and forth and oh, I made a mistake. Like for example, Supreme Alhain and Vlad the Nightborn made a mistake, put him in stone skin one turn. It's just not good enough. It's too slow. You get stripped all the time. It's not worth it. And by the time you take a turn, the other team puts on all their buffs. And it's like, what was the point? So anyways, I hope you guys can learn from this video a little bit because I definitely learned that I need way more resources and resources are just so finite in this game. And it's a little bit challenging. So anyways, sorry that I didn't get any wins. Hey, sometimes it happens. But thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this far, I hope you have a wonderful night. Take care.